Here is the show house, at least as it stood a couple weeks ago when we took this. Uh, the audio we recorded on site was awful. It's just so much construction noise going on that we wanted to redo it so you could actually hear what we wanted to say. But here we are uh, walking up to the house. You can see the porch is coming together. The columns on the left side of the porch are taller than the ones on the very end there. Uh, they were built too tall, so they were in the process of cutting them down when we uh, shot this. Uh, our favorite thing about the porch is the exposed wood, kind of this rustic look up top there, which we are leaving open like that. The porch itself is pretty big, so we're going to put a seating area on this side and then hang a porch swing over on this side. And here you can see that's what the wood looks like underneath. There'll be a light fixture there, but otherwise it'll look pretty much exactly just like that. So once you step in, obviously you're in the foyer. You can see um, the studs and stuff are up, but there's no drywall yet. They were just about to get to that after we shot that this video. This is the dining room. Uh, you can see here sort of there's going to be a double pocket doors with or glass pocket doors with a transom window over top, which will be pretty cool. And on the opposite side, there is the office. Um, so this is sort of the study area, which will probably put like a floating desk in the middle, which they're going to wire for once we've got the furniture set. But it's a pretty nice little office there. And when we turn around, this is sort of the main living area that has the living room and the kitchen in it. What we're looking at right now is the breakfast nook. It's a pretty big space actually, so we're gonna try to cozy it up by doing a big wraparound bench manquette with an old like rustic table and some uh, bookcases on either side to sort of help that space feel a little bit cozier. This is the living room. You can see the fireplace there in the middle with windows on either side, and then there's some double doors there that go out to the covered porch. And then this is the kitchen. You can see drawn on the floor with spray paint is where the island will be. Um, that's like the dishwasher and the sink. And um, here will be cabinets like the, the stove and the hood. And then also over by the stairs, there's another little bit of cabinetry in that nook, also where the wall oven and the wall microwave are going to go. Back on this side, uh, we've got the pantry there on the left, and then the far back is where the mud room will be with access to the garage and also to the back, and then a powder room. And if we walk around here to go upstairs, because that's pretty much all the downstairs, uh, you can see we come up to sort of a little open area in the hall, which is nice, a nice little landing area. Straight ahead is the guest bedroom. Uh, the bed will probably go there back in the corner because it's just about the only spot that doesn't have a window. And it's got some cool features like right up here there's a little lofted ceiling area that we might do something fun with. Maybe an accent paint color. On the other side you've got the guest bathroom. Next to it is the guest closet which is a pretty good size. And then also the laundry room. Although the laundry room obviously is not accessed from the guest room. It's accessed from the hallway. Unless you want your guests to do your laundry which is not a bad deal. Straight ahead uh, is the master bedroom. There'll be some double doors that come in here, and the bed will go right there between those two windows, probably. And we're calling this little area the atrium. It's sort of a little space that we might put a little glass cabinet in or something uh, that separates this room, which is the master bathroom, from the closet. Uh, the tub will go here in this little nook under the window. There's the shower. And then here's where the toilet will be in the water closet. We did, thanks to some of your input, decide to put it behind a door. Uh, there'll be one vanity here and then another vanity here on the other wall. And so here we are going back out the bathroom into the atrium and looking at the master closet. It's kind of what we're calling a his and hers closet because it's got two separate areas. So there's one over here and then one over here where Sherry just pointed. Thank you, Sherry. And then back out into the bedroom, um, the balcony to the master bedroom we added because there was already going to be a roof there. So we said, hey, let's make it a door. <laughs> and then they can come out onto a balcony. Back out in the hallway, uh, this is the sort of playroom slash reading room as we're calling it. It'll have kind of a bench and some shelves here to also give it kind of a cozy place to do homework or read. Or if they wanted to add a TV, it could also be a video game room, whatever. Down the hallway, here's one of the kids' bedrooms. This one um, will have a bed here by the window and like some sort of built-in um, closets and shelves on, on either side. This is the Jack and Jill shared bathroom. You can see the tub, which has some water in it already. And here's where the vanity will go. It'll have the, a double trough sink, like a big long trough sink, um, and a mirror and some faucets that come out of the wall. And then here's the sort of shower area and where the toilet is. 
Uh, we're going to do some shelves behind the toilet so you can see her on the ground. The toilet is bumped out a bit from the wall, so there's room for the shelves. Here's the other kid's bedroom. Uh, this one will have a big long desk right by the window, sort of reminiscent of the one in our old office. It also has this cool lofted ceiling detail um, for this room as well, kind of like the guest room. There's the closet, and then we can walk back out to the hallway, which is right above the stairs. We'll put a light fixture right there, kind of a statement light fixture above the, above the stairs. And then I think that's the end. You've seen all of it. Mm -hmm.